their time away and talk about their dreams. There was a boy in this harbor town and he worked laying his plans down. They said, Sandy, fetch another round. He served them whiskey and beer. His friends, they said, Sandy, you're a fine boy. What a good friend you would be. Yeah, your eyes could steal a lady from the sea. Sandy, in his colors plain, made of finest cotton from the north of Maine. A locket that bears the name of a woman Sandy loves. She came on a summer's day, bringing gifts. From far away, but he made it clear she had to stay. His harbor was her home. His friends, they said, Sandy, you're a fine boy. What a good friend you would be. But your life, your love, and your ladies, what you see. Yes, Sandy used to watch her eyes when he told his river story. She could feel the water fall and rise. She saw his rage and glory. But she had always told the truth, Lord, she wants an honest man. And Sandy does his best to understand. When the bars close down, Sandy walks through a silent town and calls a friend who is not around. He still can hear them say, he hears them say, Sandy, you're a fine boy, what a good friend you will be. But your life, your love, and your lady is for me. Sandy, you're a fine boy, what a good friend you will be, but your life, your love, and your lady is for me. Hey, Sandy. Sandy, can you hear me? Can you see me? It's Rob here. I know you're getting old, so it's hard to, you know, it's hard to see, sometimes hard to hear. I just turned 60 yesterday. It's brutal, man. Brutal. I aged at least 10, 15 years just in a day. So uh, yeah, good luck to you. Love to wish you happy birthday, but man, it's it's not easy. Anyway, uh, checking in. I am actually wishing you a happy birthday. Glad to have many a fun adventure with you, and I'm sure we're gonna have many more together. And uh, yeah, enjoy your day, buddy. Lots of people out there thinking about you. And uh, enjoy. Happy birthday, Sandy, you old dude! <laughs> you're fucking old. Can't believe your wife still sleeps with you. You're fucking old. Earthworms can't wait to meet you. You're fucking old. But I still like to spend time with you. Happy birthday. You're fucking fucking old. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, number 60. We can't wait to celebrate with you in real life, number 61 and 21, baby. Anyway, we miss you so much. We wish we were there celebrating with you. And we just know that you've been the dearest of friends, and we love you, and we want you to have a great year ahead. And thanks for having Kathy's back all these years. Happy birthday, Sandy. Love you. Hi, Sandy. Happy birthday. Happy 60th birthday. It's Dorothy and Richard here. Happy birthday, Sandy. May you have many more 
we'd like to have a, a 60th birthday again, <laughs> but that's not going to happen. But we'll tell you what it's like to be 74 soon, next time we see you. Anyway, you don't seem like a 60-year-old at all. You're more like 50, and uh, we are really grateful to have you in our lives and have you in Liz's life and Hannah and Addie's. So enjoy your day. Enjoy your su surprise, and um, I can't wait to hear about it. Have a great day and a, a glass of port. And we love you. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. And Simon are here to wish you a happy birthday. Have a great day. Miss you. Oh. My name is Tansy, and I'm wishing Sandy Kelsey a happy 60th birthday. He knows he's a lucky dog. Oh. Hey Sandy, we're so happy to be part of this video wishing you a happy birthday and we couldn't think of what to do. We want to wish you a happy birthday, but that's what everyone's doing. We were trying to think of something original and then, well, was, I'll let Greg take over. I was saying we should just blow this off, but I was coming home from a bike ride and this balloon landed in the yard. So happy birthday, Sandy. <laughs> yeah, we thought the balloon was a sign that we better get our act together and get a video. So anyway. Great to celebrate your birthday with you. Enjoy, and we love you. And Liz, thanks for uh, the nudge here to get us going because we're happy to be a part of it. Okay, Greg's already gone. He's outside. Anyway, quick, quick video from him. All right, take it easy. Happy birthday, Sandy. It's a big one. We wish we could be there to give you big hugs. Yo, uh, Sand Dune, um, congratulations. I guess you're passing a certain demarcation line i guess this is where the parts uh, start to fall off so liz um condolences and uh <laughs> bunny says woof happy birthday sandy happy birthday and many more just just don't tell us about it bye <laughs> i want candy happy birthday happy birthday, happy birthday. Hey, Sandy, it's already snowing in Colorado. Come skiing. Happy, Happy birthday. Sandy, 60 years old. It's time to look back at your life and all that you've accomplished. All right, now that we're done with that little exercise, Let's get to the point, shall we? <sighs> Sandy, forget about saving the world, okay? It's time to save yourself. It's time to get off your ass and start doing something. There's not much time left, so you've got to get up, start doing things, and make something of your life starting right now. <sighs> Go. What's your favorite thing to do with Sandy? Building. And what's your favorite thing to do all day long? Throw the ball to Chili. Happy <laughs> birthday! Sandwich. We've been trying to think of something creative to do for you, old man. And we sort of think in that this resembles you a little bit. Sort of blonde, a little bit short, a little bit stout, but gray than blonde. <laughs> Pretty unique and kind of, um, you know, a one of a kinder. So we just want to wish you happy birthday, Sandwich. From, from the minute we've met you, you've been remarkable from, I don't know, teaching me how to change a flat tire. Remember that one, Robbie? I almost beat you up. Yeah, flat tire. But how to change a flat tire. How to, to shovel a pond. How to shovel a pond. How to, how to um, take care of asthma. How to put a tractor in a pond. How to put a tractor in the pond. You're just always there, man. You're fun. You're hilarious. You're belligerent. How to drain a knee. How to drain. Oh, God. How to stitch yourself up. I mean, what have you not helped us with and, um, and brought to our 
our lives. We love you, man. Birthday, man. Have a have a good birthday. Birthday, yeah. Good turkey here for you. <laughs> Hope you get out there and get one yourself. In Dune. Happy, happy big 6-0, my friend. Welcome to the club. Gosh, um, Witten is doing a great job here being my videographer. But I am amazed at how our friendship has evolved from the first seeing you as like that only other long-haired blonde guy in Professor Tobias's freshman English class to that crew bus ride to Yale and so on and so forth for 42 years. Over the years, I've marveled at the range of our friendship, how it's deepened and lasted far longer than jobs and careers, dogs, cats, pigs, chickens, relationships, girlfriends, wives, former wives, cities, homes, even freeze-dried coffee crystals and Velveeta cheese and that Christmas fruitcake. Um, you know, truthfully, over the years I've learned I can always, always count on you when the chips are down and that you're always going to show up with 110% joy, humor, unbridled enthusiasm and energy for a good time or an extended getaway with close friends. I also have to add, I, I don't know anyone else that follows the courage of his convictions and values with more grit and dog on a bone persistence than you, my friend. And I really hope you'll never lose this quality. Um, finally, I know from the ongoing Harvard study on fulfillment dating back to the 30s that long-term authentic relationships are the key to long lives well lived. So I'm very much looking forward to the next 30 or 40 years of laughter, love, and life with you and Liz and all your loved ones. Uh, so again, happy big 6-0, my friend. All right, I love you. Ciao. Okay, so now... Oh, oh, oh baby. Oh, what? baby. What? Oh, what? 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 Stop. What? What? Hey Sandy, welcome to the big 6-0 club. It's not so bad. It's that next stage of life. I've been lucky enough to share the last 40 some odd years with you. There are stages of life. I hope you're doing well. And I hope you adopt the same philosophy that Muff and I both adopted in at 60. Sandy, it's time to just do it. <laughs> Actually something you've been doing your whole life. Anyway, happy birthday. Why? Are we here? Happy birthday. Sandy, we, we love, love you. you. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. You know, Allegra and I have been sitting here wondering, what could we possibly give you for a birthday present that you would value? And I can't think of anything. And I did. And I finally convinced Allegra. It took a lot, and I had to give up a lot, but I hope you appreciate it. We are both 
going to vote for Trump in honor of you. Happy birthday, Sandy. Um, not. <laughs> I, I love you, Sandy, but I will not vote for Trump. I respect your opinions. You respect mine. See that flag behind us? Ooh, there it is. I've got my opinion. You've got yours. We love you. We've loved you for these past 25 years, and we'll love you for the next. Happy in, birthday. In spite of your politics. Yeah, in spite of them. Jesus Christ. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Guys, I got to go to yoga. We got to be serious about this. Okay. Let's okay. go. Okay. You guys are probably wondering why I gathered you all here today. <laughs> I think we need to discuss what we're going to get dad for his birthday. Yeah. Anyone have any ideas? Well, he likes to build stuff. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's get him a tool. Like I have this, I have this really good screwdriver. I think you might like a screwdriver, right? Yeah, definitely. Pass it over here, yeah. pass it over here. Let me see it. Here you go, Case. Okay, thanks. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I like it, I like the color. Yeah. What, do you, what do you think? Hand it to me, let me check it out. Oh, guys, I don't know. The screwdriver kind of sucks. It's pretty small. I think we can do a little better. Let's get him a hammer. Something good. Here, Ooh, check it out. Yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, this is a pretty nice hammer. Here, Casey, you want to check it out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hand it to me. Here you go. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, it's fine, but he's turning 60. Don't you think we should get him something a little bit nicer than a hammer? Yeah, something a little nicer. Good idea. Okay, okay. How about a drill? Ooh, yeah, that'd be a sweet present. Here, wait, wait, pass it out. I want to see it. Pass it over here. Okay, here you go. Oh, cool. Yeah, I think Dad would really like this. Hey, you want to see it? I want to see it. Yeah, okay. give it to me. Ooh, guys, this, this is a good present. Dad would love this. You know what, though? I really need a drill. I think I'm just going to keep this one. I like it. Sorry. Preston! <laughs> Wait! What? what? What are we going to get Dad for his birthday then? <laughs> uh. We're just going to have to give him what we give him every year. Unconditional love. Right. <laughs> okay, Dad. Another year of unconditional love. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Dad. <laughs> okay, scene. That's so, yeah. so this is a story that I haven't even told Bobby yet. When Sandy and I were in medical school together, he gave me help to put together a party bag to take to my very first orgy. What the? F Happy birthday, Sandy. You're a dead man. Happy birthday, Sandy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Sandy. Can't wait to see you again someday and argue about politics. Always my favorite activity with you. Happy birthday, Sandy. Hey, as a doctor, I know you like to take care of yourself and give yourself stitches and stuff, <laughs> but for your 60th birthday and your preventive colonoscopy, <laughs> let somebody else do that. Liz doesn't want to see that. Happy birthday, bud. Wait, 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 wait. I'm Sandy, just so you know, we just dragged Lucas out of bed to do this because we've been procrastinating. As Liz knows, we're good procrastinators. Um, but if he were more awake, he would be challenging you to do a push-up duel the next time we see you. All right. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Yo, dude, I'll keep this brief as I understand you're turning 60. And I wanted to share some of our finer moments together. This first one in 1984, and here we are uh, battling it out on the banks of the Green River. I think I have the upper hand. This next one I know to be one of your favorites uh, was at Mount Baker in 2012 when I did an infamous head plant in your honor, which frankly I was lucky to survive, and I'm glad, glad you did not witness my demise. Anyways, happy 60th birthday, Sandy. Hello, Sandy. Congratulations on making it to 60. Thanks for being such a fine friend to my next youngest brother. Best wishes for your next 60. Peace out. Hey, Sandy. Happy birthday. 
I'll just have to let you know that when I think of you over all these years, I always think about how much you make us laugh. Well, hello, Sandy, on this great day. Many happy returns. So, since Sandy, I'm wearing my thinking cap as your grasshopper. You actually might be getting old enough that I have to listen to you. Happy birthday. Sandy, I just want to take a minute to salute you, to salute all the years that we've had together, the camaraderie, all of the athletic activity, the biking has just been fantastic. And you know, with you being a doctor, you've really set me straight from a health perspective. And I, I just owe it to you. I mean, I really feel because of you, I am the man that I am today. And, uh, you know, it's just been so super and I feel so ready to go. Uh, the habits that you've instilled in me have made all the difference, all the difference. Hey, Sandy, Kelsey, happy birthday. How are you doing? It's Mike Moran here at the beach in Evanston, Illinois. We came to the beach to wish you a happy birthday because it's Sandy. Get it? Get it? Sandy, you need to get your old butt out on a mountain. There's more to life than building barns. Happy birthday, old timer. I'm going. Hey, Sandy, happy birthday, old buddy. Hey, get out here to Oregon as soon as the pandemic's over, okay? Have fun. See ya. Hey, Sandstorm, it's your birthday. You're turning 60. It's hunting season. And that kind of got me to thinking that um, you're kind of like a trophy, you know? You've outlived some of the herd, probably a little bigger than you once were, bigger than some of the other guys out there. And I just wanted to say congrats. Making it to 60 is kind of like making it to trophy level. Probably have a lot in common with these guys right here. And maybe, if you're lucky, you'll get mounted. Sandy, happy birthday. It's me, your buddy Greg. Training, trying to beat the best 60-year-old biker I know. That would be you. And, you know, someday soon, I'm going to beat your ass. Maybe when you're 80. But till then, I continue to train. So my wheel is completely tacoed. Do you know anything about that? All right, happy birthday. I it was handy. He was also something quite dandy. And as the years go on by, we cannot deny. We, we love, love you, dear crazy old Sandy. Sandy. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. Woo, Woo, Sandy. Okay. Yeah. Happy birthday, Sandy. I first met you when you were six or seven years old, when your parents came to St. Albans Church in California. And my first trip to New Hampshire when I was 16, I met Brian. He's going to tell you a little story. So, 16 years old, and <clears throat> I was very fortunate. The father, Kelsey, felt that I came from a fine, upstanding family. <laughs> and hey, <laughs> <not> very nice. <laughs> so, he allowed me to date Jody, um, but he did set a curfew of 10, 10 p.m., and we needed to be there, or I was, I was out of the picture, shall we say. So I think that was our second date. We were headed home, and, and we were having a really great time. We weren't really paying much attention to the time, but we did arrive at the bridge at five minutes of ten, so we felt we had sufficient time to get to the top of the driveway. And about 30 minutes to 45 minutes later, we did arrive at the home. Father Kelsey was not very happy. <laughs> um, we, we found uh, two or three stone walls that had been built across the driveway while we were gone, I think in an effort to keep me from dating Jody in the future, but it didn't work. Um, nice nice try, Sandy and Allison, but um, we did persevere, and I did j date Jody, and 47 years later, we're still very happy together, and always will be. Um, love you, and hope you have a great birthday. I can remember 60 and thinking, God, that's old, but it wasn't. It wasn't so in your head. I'm 73 now, and I still feel 16, so you got a good future ahead of you. Love you. Sandy, it's, we've had many ups and downs over the years, um, and I'm so happy that you and Liz are living a great life together. We hope you have a wonderful birthday. Love you. And I'm glad you went up on the mountain so you can have a little privacy. I bet you are too. Love you, man. See ya. 
Happy, happy birthday, Sandy. Sorry I can't be there to celebrate, but hopefully we'll be there soon to toast to you. And until then, party it up, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Yo, Sandune, wishing you a great, happy birthday. Coming to you from my workshop in Colorado. And uh, just great to see you in line when I was up there just uh, two weeks ago. It was really fun to hang out with you as always, seeing all your, my little projects here compared to your huge projects there. We're building barns and buildings and stuff. And I'm just building little, little uh, projects here in Colorado. So I'm working my way up to keep up with you, buddy. Uh, lifelong friend, my first friend at Dartmouth, sitting next to you on the bus on the way to freshman trips. Changed everything, man. Thanks. Have a great birthday. Best of Liz. Sandy, as you can see, I'm standing before you in the Baja, a place that I love and I know that you do too. And I'm thinking as you are finally joining me on this decade, our 60th, why not spend the next chapter together? Please, please, please get off your cute little tight bicycle ass, buy a piece of property down here, and be our neighbors for life, okay? Is that too much to ask? I mean, I'd buy it for you, but I'm reserving it for you, but it's going quickly, so we need to act. We love you uh, so much. You have meant the world to us for so many decades, and I wanna just grow old together. So come on, please, for me. For you, for us. Happy birthday. Love you. Thank you. I'm up at Pilar's farm and for your birthday I wanted to give you a couple of animals to fill our new barn. This is Daisy, a goat that Pilar can no longer keep so I thought we should add one more goat to our herd of goats. So here's the first okay, animal. Sandy, so this is Dandy, the little donkey, and Dandy needs a new home and I figured she'd fit perfectly into one of our small stalls. So Pilar, what, what are donkeys good for? Pretty much nothing. Oh, perfect. We'll get we'll get one of those. And sweetie, the best part about all of this is Pilar and Harley have agreed to give us um, some little little pigs, baby piglets, in the spring. See that dark pig right there? That's the girl, and they're gonna breed her, and we get free baby piglets. Okay, and then um, Pilar said that we can have one of her horses, and I planned it for one of these pintos or the other one to uh, have in our barn. So when Hannah comes home. She can ride a horse. The last adoptee, we're gonna take one of her roosters cause she doesn't have enough room. Um, I, I tried to get her to give us both of them, but she can only give one away. Um, they're so beautiful. I think that we should take the one that has more black on it than the other one. Okay, so I think, I think we have our whole variety of animals that are all very useful. And thanks so much, sweetie, for building me a barn. Sandy, one more thing I forgot. Pilar is going to give us some call duck eggs for our pond. She does, however, find that in the winter they like to be indoors and close to people. So I was thinking we could put them um, in the screened-in porch so they could be close to us and not get lonely. I didn't think you'd mind because we did that with the goats this spring. Love you. Sandy, happy birthday. I'm so grateful for the friendship we've shared over the years. So grateful for all that you've done for me and for my family. I'll never forget uh, the times we've spent together and I'll never forget our wonderful dinners at the Siam Orchid in Concord. 
I look forward to when we can be together again. One of the highlights of my ordained ministry was officiating at the wedding of you and Liz and celebrating with both of you and your children. Know that we love you and we miss you and happy, happy birthday.